wind down this holiday weekend. There's one guy who says every day feels like a holiday to him. He is the ultimate taxi driver, and he met up with the Colorado Traveler. News for us, Scott Rensberger. Aspen's a small town with a big name. For years, Aspen, Colorado has attracted interesting people. Cher has a home here. So do Jack Nicholson and Lee Iacocca. And then there's John Barnes. He lives in Aspen, too. Who is John Barnes? Well, you're about to meet him. Good evening and welcome to the Ultimate Taxi. This is the only recording studio, theater, nightclub, planetarium, toy store, and taxi cab in the world. Hey, where did we go? Days when the rains came. On the outside, it's a 1978 checker cab. But on the inside, John Barnes's taxi is a cross between the space shuttle Columbia and a rolling radio shack. There are many fuses and many circuit breakers, and uh, this car is a electronics nightmare. It wasn't always like this. Three years ago, John was just an average cab driver. But one day he got bored and added a piano in his front seat. And then one thing led to another, and then a mixing board led to a microphone, led to spotlights, led to mirror balls, and, and then uh, the sky was the limit. John no longer works for the cab company. This ultimate taxi is all his. Good evening, ladies. Come take a ride in the ultimate taxi. And John no longer takes people from one place to another. Today, John only goes where he wants to go. The fare is $15 per person. Well, I'm on my way. I don't know where I'm going. I'm on my way. Taking my time, but I don't know where. I like to think the ultimate taxi is about as much fun as you can have in a car with your clothes still on. See me and Julio down by the schoolyard. Through the years, John has entertained thousands of people in his cab. People like Jerry Seinfeld, Ringo Starr, and Clint Eastwood. Even the local police sometimes go for a ride. And it's against the law. It was against the law. Oh, what the mama saw. It was against the law. Well, I think I've, I've pretty much pushed the don't leave your dome light on at night law right up to the limit. I've often said that in order to do a show like this inside a car, you need to be on a first-name basis with all the police officers and have an insurance company that's never actually seen your car. Perhaps the most amazing thing about John is not that he can play several different instruments, it's that he can play several different instruments and run a light show while driving. There are a lot of people that can drive better than me and a lot of people that can play keyboard better than me, but there aren't too many people that can play keyboard while driving better than me. So what does the future hold for John Barnes? Well, he wants to build a TV studio in his car and host a weekly talk show. After creating the ultimate taxi, anything's possible. <laughs> Thank you. Scott Rensberger. <laughs> News 4. Seen a lot of people today who need professional help. Yes, we have. <laughs> and Tom is next. Stay with us.